All right. Well, um, it is noon, so the, I'm going to just start my introduction here so we can get started with our webinar today. I'm going to press record here really quick. Looks like we already have it recording. So um, today's webinar is gonna be um, over the Square's versatile point of sale system. So we're gonna get started. Um, I would like to thank a few of our sponsors. We first like to thank Center for Rural Affairs for um, sponsoring um, our some a few of our webinars for us. We really appreciate that. As well as um, our featured sponsor, BNSF Railway. And our featured member um, today is Broken Spoke Boutique, and they just joined this year in 2023. And this week's presenter, again, is Martin. Um, you may have heard from him last week, and I believe he's doing another webinar um, in October here. And so um, just be on the lookout for that. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to Zoe or me. You can reach me at that store number as well as Zoe. Or if you'd like to schedule an appointment with Zoe, her email's just right there. Or mine's um, T-O-N-J-A at grownebraska.org. Um, but either or. And then our upcoming trainings, um, October 19th is Branding and Identity Systems. And then October 26th, which I think this is the training Martin's doing, is empowering your business and exploring e-commerce with Square Online. And then November 1st is sell online with e-commerce tools. And you can sign up for these trainings using that QR code, or you can go to grownebraska.org back, backslash trainings. Or if you just go to grownebraska.org, you can find upcoming trainings under that trainings tab. And then um, I would love to ask for, to see um, if any of you would like to leave us a Google review today. Um, you can scan that QR code and just let us know how you like the webinar. And then um, we recently just got um, this new opportunity. It's called Business Plan Snap and Boost. This is a five-week program. Um, and in this five-week program, you're going to complete a ready-to-use business plan you're gonna do a feasibility study on your individual business. You'll have an entrepreneur skills assessment and a business health assessment done, and you'll be um, have a, an introduction to marketing strategies. And this is in the Kearney, Nebraska area. So if you'd like to sign up, you can, um, you can register using that QR code there. And then lastly, we have Market Tech coming up February 28th and 29th. The 28th of February is the pre-conference and the 29th is going to be our main conference. And then the speakers will be announced very soon. So keep your eyes out for that. But right now I'm going to just um, pass it on over to Martin to take it away. Oh, and thank you. Go ahead and get started here. Let me share my screen. Hello. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about um, the square point of sale. Um, for those of you that know Square, you, you may remember us from like the little white card reader. Um, and that still, that device still to this day serves any business um, with the ability to, to take a payment you know, at, at, any, at any time. But things have evolved since, since the MagStripe reader and um, you know, contactless payments, chip card payments, tap payments, all, all of that now is, is much more common, much more secure. And so we're going to go over uh, the tap, you know, card payments uh, today. So what I want to do is I've got my iPhone connected and Janelle, if you can um, let me know, I, is my screen showing up here? My, like my phone screen? Yes, your phone screen is showing up. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this from from my phone here. Um, so I have my phone connected and so you can see my screen. Obviously the easiest way, you know, to, to take a payment is, you know, someone in front of you, right? Someone, you know, you, you wanna sell them something. So let's do a sale here, right? Review your sale, charge it. And then if you have something like our, 
our contactless and chip card reader, you can take their actual physical card, either tap their card or, or insert their card here, right? That's the easiest way or, or probably the most common way you think of when, when someone's taking a payment is, is exactly that, right? Someone um, in front of you taking, taking a payment. And that's probably the case for most if you're doing pop-ups, things like that. But I wanted to kind of just go through the point of sale here and just to kind of go over some tips on how to, way to maximize that uh, and just kind of go over the different ways you can take payments uh, just to make sure that you're never, ever missing a sale uh, when, when you're working with Square. And as we go along here, feel free, please leave any questions, you know, ask, submit any questions and ask in the chat. Happy to, happy to go through there. This isn't going to be an hour long. This we're probably looking at 30, 35 minutes maybe here because it goes through pr pretty quick. All right. So. This is, uh, again, on my iPhone here, uh, we've got um, the square point of sale. We make it very, very easy to, to take a payment. And that's where, you know, kind of backing up a little bit. Um, I want to kind of reiterate the best way to, to maximize the point of sale is by properly setting up items. And what I mean by, you know, being easy, making it real easy to take a sale, like I said earlier, I can, you know, you've got someone in front of you or someone you're talking to and they say, oh yeah, that'll be 25 bucks. And you type in, 25 here under the keypad, review it, charge it, and done. Your customer gets a receipt, sales done, you get your money. But when, when that receipt comes, all they're going to see is a custom amount. It's not going to say what exact item it was. Your inventory is not going to change if you're, if you're um, tracking inventory, which you should. Good practice to do that. Right? That's not going to happen. Now, there are cases where that, that uh, totally works to do that. But... You know, in today's business realm, right, data is, is, is king. So you want to know what's happening with your business. So uh, in this point of sale I have right now, if we go to library, this is my, my fictional business. This is my, my, my test business here. It's called Mike's Bikes. I'm, I'm a bike shop in, in, in Scottsdale, Arizona, and, and I sell uh, beach cruiser type bikes, right? I've got all my items in here that I can sell. So when someone comes in and I pick, um, you know, this uh, one of these bikes here, right? Their receipt's going to show that this bicycle is what's what they bought, and I have my inventory tracking, so they'll be able, I'll be able to see you know, where my inventory is. Again, if there was ever you know a dispute or a refund or exchange, right? The product is clearly stated on the electronic receipt they they're getting. That doesn't change, so much more you know professional type of type of look and feel there. So now. And you can go into your library. You can create your library items from, from your Square dashboard on, on a laptop or whatever, or you can do it from in here as well. If I go to more, um, and I go to items here, I can go to all my items, and I can click on one of these, and I can, I can, I can adjust it. And we can see here, uh, stock on hand, I've got 15, available to sell 15, right? So for this specific bike here, as I sell it, right, that number 15 will go down. So if I sell one in person, that will go down. If I sell this online uh, through my Square Online website, that number will go down as well because your inventory is moving. Um, it doesn't matter if it's your Square Online store, your in-person sales, or, or an invoice, or any of the other payment methods we're, we're going to go over here. That inventory number will, will, will go down because it's always all integrated, right? So very easy to, to do that, to, to set up items. Um, you know, from here, you can, you can do all that. Um, very, very easy. Again, you can create an item and do that. So you can categorize them. Uh, like you've seen here, I've got different different categories. I've got my seven speed fat tire cruisers, wide inch three, wide ride, three inch, two, and then my accessories, right? My tubes, phone speaker holder, bottle holder, all of that. And then I can run reports off of that and say, Oh, which category is my best-selling category? Um, which item is my best-selling item? Like, right? You, the, the more of that data you put in there, the more and, and better, cleaner data you get when, when when things happen. And then you can start to do reports year over year, right? Let's uh, we've got Halloween coming up, the, the next holiday coming up, right? You can do a Halloween sale or promotion. You can see how that went. And then next Halloween, you can compare, oh, what, what did we do last year? What was our top selling item? What what didn't sell? More importantly, what didn't sell last year? What do we maybe still have some inventory of? And so you, you can make you know, better decision. Don't order that. Uh, we don't want to sell any more of that. You know, you know, something like that. 
Um, so that, you know, that again, that's that's going through here and we can go into the, the dashboard as well. So you can see that you can create all your items. These are all test items that uh, we'll, we'll kind of, we'll see that uh, as well. So, all right, so we've got this, um, we've got this bike in the, in the, in the cart right now. Um, again, we can charge that. Again, if I've got the contactless chip RGB reader, someone can, can, can tap this, right? So they can tap this with their, with their phone and with their card. So Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, any tap card payments. And then you've got the chip card uh, reader here as well. But any of those are going to be uh, a more secure transaction versus the, the, the mag stripe where you, you know, you're, you're swiping the, the, the stripe on, on, on the card. Again, that still works, but it's a less secure option and doesn't give you the protections like chargeback protections um, that a chip or, or tap payment would because that's that's a little more complex to get that to get that, you know, um, taken care of. So, again, that's going to give you better, better protection. It's more, much more difficult to, to copy a tap or a swipe on nearly impossible um, than it is a mag stripe on the back of a card. All right. So. You got that, right? You've got someone just handing you a card. You can do that. Again, I mentioned the MagStripe card reader um, going away. I mean, it's still available, but it will eventually go away. Um, we already have the new replacement for it. So you can you can start with Square today for free. You download the app for free. And even start taking payments uh, without any hardware. So on the screen here, uh, you can see tap to pay on iPhone. If I click that, that will actually, um, I don't think it'll show the, the other screen on there. Uh, let me close this here. But you'll just see the loading screen. But on my end, uh, you'll see you know, tap to pay on the phone. So someone could actually get their card, their phone, and tap right on my phone screen here versus, you know, uh, me needing a piece of hardware to do that. So that would obviously work only for tap cards. Um, you, know, you wouldn't be able to do anything with the chip, but most chip cards already have tap anyway. So they're usually going to have both. So you can just tap it right on there. Boom, really quick, really easy to, to take a payment right then and there. Again, you forgot your, your contactless reader. You forgot your MagStripe reader. Tap on iPhone is available. Tap on Android is available as well. So it's available for, for Android and iPhone. So really easy to, to do both, right? So that's more of, you know, that route there. Now, you can always, you can take cash, right? I, I get that question a lot, surprisingly, is, you know, you guys are a credit card swiping company, like, what, what, what about cash? Like, yeah, we, we, you know, we never want you to miss a sale. So you can, you can accept cash um, here, right? And of course, there's a disclaimer here, right? You, you, we're not depositing the cash, you know, for you or anything. And we're not taking any fees, for taking cash either that that that's 100% you know no fees because again we're not doing anything there you're using our free software to to record that payment and then again of course to figure out if you need change or um, you know anything like that you can also split you know between cash and card if if you needed to do that but your customer will get a receipt that will record it in your in your dashboard in your reports you can start comparing how much cash how many how much you're getting in cash sales daily versus your card sales and kind of see if that you know that mix is is, is you know heavy on one side or the other um, you know again more data easier for you to do that so yeah of course you can take cash no extra fee for that you do have the ability to sell electronic gift cards at no additional cost as well uh, for your customers. So they can, you know, they can buy gift cards uh, for themselves or they can, of course, gift those to friends and family as well. So you can take gift card. Again, you can also split a gift card with another card type of payment as well. All right. So uh, e-gift card, they can just give you that information. For those of you that are doing a lot of um, uh, consultations, um, estimates, you know, maybe, um, events, things like that. You can always pay with invoice as well. You don't necessarily have to, um, you know, be taking a payment in person. You can really easily uh, do an invoice here. Uh, you can do payment schedule. Now, this is the only way you're able to actually take another form of payment, which is H ACH, which is someone putting in their routing number and, and checking account number. So if we go here to payment methods, right, you can, you can make that happen here and you can see your ACH bank transfer is 1% uh, for, for, for that. That's where, again, they put in their routing number and check an account number and it processes through the bank, uh, a lower fee uh, through there if you do that. That's the only payment option we have for, for ACH right now is via invoices. Uh, you can attach contracts, attachments, um, 
you can, you know, break it up in, you know, you can schedule, make a payment schedule, right? Maybe do a deposit and then the rest do, you know, date of, um, of service, things like that. So uh, for folks that are doing a lot of that, that type of work, invoices, I mean, we see folks who run their entire business off of invoices. So really, really easy to do a good mix to have that in there. Um, QR codes, of course, very, very popular. Of course, since the QR codes have been around for, for a very, very long time, um, but got their, at their moment in the sun when, when, when COVID hit and folks were looking for a lot of contactless ways to scan menus or, or make payments, right? So you can do that as well. You can just, you know, put a QR code, they can open up their phone and scan it and pay with whatever app or, or whatever card, you know, they want to do that as well. So I'm going to skip over payment link here. Similar with Cash App Pay. If you're familiar with Cash App, it's a peer-to-peer -peer money uh, payment system similar to like a Venmo or Rizal. Uh, that was that's a Square company. Cash App is that was developed from within Square uh, ten years ago now. Um, so that's that's a payment that that's available. Same thing. You do the QR code opens up the Cash App. They they authorize it. And um, you know, and, and makes payment directly through that. So that integration is there through one of our other through one of our other companies. All right, going back up to send payment link. This one I, I really really like a lot um, because it's it's like I, it's almost like invoices light and, and e-commerce light. So uh, if you need folks to pay you online um, without a full you know full website, um, you can just do a payment link. So I can share this link and you know I can. Facebook, Instagram, or however I want to do that, right? It gives you a couple options there. Or I can just send this via text message. And then, you know, the, whoever I sent that to will get the link. And then they can make payment, right? You'll, you'll get an email, you know, you'll get a notification once that's done. Um, if I go here, I can see I've got a link here from Mike Spikes to, to make a payment for that bicycle. And that takes me to a secure check a square uh, a secure checkout page where they can put in their their card information or again they can add Apple you know Apple Pay or Google Pay whatever phone they're using um, they can manually input their their credit card number uh, they can do Cash App Pay through there as well uh, folks can save their card information for faster checkout later right? they, you know then that'll work for any Square seller uh, for that so again this is like I, well, there was a uh, customer I was talking to. She does a lot of custom clothing, like one one off type of clothing, like a custom uh, jean jackets. So she'll post it on on Instagram or on TikTok, like, "Hey, I just created this this new jacket um, in a size extra large. Maybe it's a men's jacket, right? Sorry, it's extra large men's jacket. Uh, there's only it's one of a kind. So whoever wants it, you know, hit me up, uh, and she would just take you know someone would DM her." via whichever platform, whoever was first and say, hey, I want the jacket. I want to pay you for it. I want to lock it in. Cool. What's your phone number? Let me send you this link. So, you know, you got 30 minutes to pay or the next person uh, will get it. They get this link. Boom. They make payment. She gets notified right then and there. Ships it out to them and done. Again, with the, and it's them paying online. They're not in front of her. Uh, she's not necessarily sending an invoice. Um, she's sending the link and they're making payment. And then she's getting that ready to, to send out really quick. Again, it would be almost like them going to her online store and buying it from there. It's useful for her in that case because um, a lot of her, her items are mostly one, you know, one of one custom items. So, you know, creating that item, putting it on a website, and then marketing it as, you know, she can track inventory, put it as one item. Once somebody sell, buys it, you know, it'll show out of stock, but then she'll have to take it down because she, she's never making another one of those again. So uh, it makes it really easy to, to do that. Again, you can do that with, with anyone. You can see add coupon is here. Uh, you can you can easily create coupons for your customers, offer sales, promotions, things like that. It, it, all, it all integrates with, in, I could add that, that coupon in person as well um, or on my website or, or through these checkout links. Actually, if we go here. Let me go back here. We go here, right? We can add the discount again. There's that. There's a discount I already had created, twenty five percent off. 
instantly sets up. And then again, better work on my website, better work here on my point of sale or on that checkout link I just sent or even my invoices, right? There's a spot for, for coupons there. So again, that all works all the way around. So, you know, you don't have to be like, oh, well, it doesn't work here or there. Works works all in conjunction everywhere. So that's already there. Charge it, do that. Um, if you have customers that are buying from you on the regular, right, you can have them save a card on file. Um, you know, they can call you up, hey, we'd like to reorder um, such and such stock. Um, cool. Do you want me to just put it on the MasterCard you have on file? Yep, just charge that. Perfect. Set that up. Done. Good to go. Right. That, that's all set. We go to more here. Um, new feature we have house accounts. I haven't actually created that yet. Uh, but for house accounts, again, someone that's buying from me around the regular, hey, add, add another pallet of this or another you know, 20 pounds of that. Uh, put it on the house account, and then that house account is, you know, a running, a running, uh, running check, and then they, you know, they, they, whatever terms you have to, to, to take care of that. Maybe it's at the end of every month they they make payment on, on their house account, or every two weeks, or however you, however you want to set that up. And that's a that's a fairly new, new feature there. All right, so uh, you have favorites here as well. Again, you know, you I have very little item. So instead of going through my library and, and kind of scrolling through, I can just go to favorites and be like, oh, it's this phone speaker holder. This is a pretty common item. Go to sell it, right? Add that there. Add that. Again, just wanting to make it easier um, uh, for, for you to be able uh, to use that. Another function that you want that you can do uh, for um, for your point of sale. And if we if you did the other um, the other webinar that we had last week or the week before, um, we talked a little bit about Square Photo Studio, and I've got that here. You can see Square Photo Studio is a a a, uh, a photography app that that Square purchased, and it's integrated with our system now. So um, you've got Lego Martin here. We can take a quick uh, picture of him. The computer will work here to. Um, to remove any of that background uh, of his. So refine background. So we can see uh, Lego Martinez there, that, that the black table he was on is, is gone. Uh, we can save that. We can save it. Now we can actually add a background, uh, different color if we want. Uh, no, you know, no, no color. We can even do some AI. We can add this and it's got a little shadow there, right? Um, but we can go next. And we can either just add this photo to our website or to our items, or we could sell it now. Okay, I just need, would need to sign into an account here. We could sell it now, and we could actually um, create a checkout link and, and sell this this Lego Martin right now. If we go actually go back into my library here, we'll see. I already have him in here a couple of times, right? So you can take a picture, create Lego Martin. discount out of here All right so we could take a picture of it remove the background create a background uh, and then just you know send a payment link uh, for that for that item right then and there right one of a kind only have one send that payment link i could share it on my social if i want you know, hey whoever wants it first person to pay for it gets it right maybe create a, a frenzy for for buying that really really easy to use again the the square photo studio is is available for free. It's only for iPhone right now, um, but it will be eventually available for, for Android. But right now it's just for iPhone. You don't even have to have a Square account to use it if you don't want. You can um, you can use it to take your photos, download your photos, save them to your computer, use them for whatever you want, your social media, your website, marketing, whatever. For family, make funny photos, memes, whatever you want to do with it, you can do that. But it also, again, has that integration where you can add this item as an item in your web store, in your point of sale, or just sell it, you know, one time as a as a checkout link as well. Anyone see? Anyone notice the end the the red eyes? I'm gonna need to fix his eyes there. All right, so going back to the point of sale again. So a lot of different ways you can take payments, right? So um, in person, online, um, text message, email invoices can go by email. Um, you, know, you can actually send that by text as well. But email uh, on your website, on your socials. I mean, there's Endless in combinations of ways you can sell through your 
uh, through through the point of sale, right? To to be able to do that again, the whole intention here, the whole mission of Y Square was started what was to never miss a sale. One of our founders, uh, Jim McKelvey, was a glass blower, uh, and he was a solo entrepreneur. Um, you know, when, during his day, it was very very difficult for a solo entrepreneur to to get a um, to get a credit card terminal. You know, involved going to the bank, doing a whole bunch of stuff, and just made it very difficult for him to be able to take credit cards. Um, and he had a customer come in with an uh, American Express and was like, you know, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't take credit card. I can't take credit cards. Uh, and at the time it was like a, you know, five, $600 sale customer, you know, wasn't going to have that kind of cash on them. So he, he lost a sale. And so he went to his partner, um, Jack Dorsey, our other founder and said, you know, we've got to figure this out for, for folks who've got these, you know, these computers in our hands, this was, you know, right when the iPhone had come out, uh, we've got these computers in our hand, um, and we've got to be able to be able to take credit cards somehow with them and make sure that a, a small business like me might doesn't have this issue where they're getting rejected by the bank or, or, or paying these crazy fees, right, to get this credit card terminal that they're paying um, long-term contracts on. So the idea was born to create Square, and, and that was an 2009. So, you know, they've been doing that ever since. And again, we've got different pieces of hardware for countertop and things like that. But, you know, a phone or an iPad or a laptop, really all you need today to, uh, to be able, you know, you know, to do, to do that. Let me switch my screen here. One second, I'm going to share a different screen. I'm just going to get into a different tab here. So I'm in the, I uh, signed into my Square account here. This is Square dashboard. Again, if you're like me and you like the bigger screen to do stuff, you can go in here. Again, any items you create will automatically go into your point of sale on your phone, on any of our hardware, right? Wherever you do it, it, it syncs across. So it doesn't matter, you know, where you do that. Again, those are all in here as well. Um, so I've got my bike here. You can see there's a checkout link. I can copy that checkout link and send that link to someone else and, and sell it. Uh, from here as well, where I can create, you know, my items here for uh, for sale. And again, super easy. If I create it here, it's going to again appear on my on my dashboard on my on my point of sale device. Again, like we talked earlier, um, let me go back home here. All right, and go into reports. It's a fake business, so it doesn't really have <laughs> um, much as far as transactions. We have a couple of test ones for uh, oh, and a couple there. So I've got some, you can see your transactions, what days, how many transactions on this day. I had two payments for $26 on this day, two payments for $50. Right? And you can see um, what that all was here, right? Total sales, returns. Of course, I purchased and then returned it, put it on my card to kind of go through the process. And you can see if it was cash, gift card. Um, you know, again, cash and was a dollar transaction I put through on Cash App, right? So it'll give you more and more data and you can start comparing those. Um, if you have, you know, daily, weekly, monthly, um, you can filter it by locations as well, by team members. So if you um, start growing and you have, um, you know, employees, it can be by team member. Aren't fees higher for non-swipe use transactions? Not for non-swipe. So um, Vernon, that's a that's a good point there. So what you're thinking of is non um, card not present transactions. So uh, fees are the same for swipe, dip, tap. That's exactly the same. Where you would get into a higher fee is if uh, actually one thing I didn't have in there because I don't I, I don't like it. I, I normally don't recommend it. Uh, let me go back here. Is if I was to manually insert that card number. So. I actually don't have it on here. You you can do that, but I don't recommend it. Let me let me add it in here. Let me go into settings here, checkout, payment. So payment types. All right, so manual credit card entry. So let me add that to my payment types here. So this is where you're gonna get a much higher fee for for processing is if you manually enter in a credit card. You can see you have the ability to do that. We won't stop you from doing that. Um, but the banks, uh, the card um, 
processors see that as a much more uh, fraudulent uh, risk of fraud. So they, they charge a higher fee. So if we go to sale, charge, and we go into manual credit card entry, right? And uh, I, you know, let's say I'm maybe doing it on the phone. Oh yeah, what's your card number? And I you know, start typing that in and I met, and it would tell you right here, manual fees have, manually entered cards have a higher processing fee. So whereas a, a dip, tap, swipe is 2.6%, you can see um, manual entry is 3.5% uh, per transaction. So definitely higher, um, riskier transaction um, for that, much more likely to, to fail if you have a chargeback or you know be, be fraudulent. Again, you as a business, you can decide whether to do that or not. And you can see we allow it. I had removed it uh, for that. Um, Let's see here, for online sales to do a Square website, would that charge a higher fee? Yes, it would. Um, so, uh, Tanya, that's that's a good point here. That was gonna where I was going next. So really you have three types of, of fees here, right? So you have your card present, that's someone in front of you with the card, dip, tap, swipe, right? Someone gives you that card, you, you're manually swiping it, dipping it, tapping it, 2.6%. On the far end of the spectrum there, you have card not present. Again, that was that manual card entry where, you're man where you, uh, the, the merchant, are manually entering in the, that payment. We saw that was that 3.5%. Um, and that was the two you kind of had for the longest time. Um, but then, of course, e-commerce uh, and online sales came along and there had to be, you know, some, some, some happy medium there, right? Because technically, it, it is a card not present because you're not manually you're, you're not handling that card. It's on your website. Uh, so an e-commerce transaction would be 2.9%, right? So you have 2.6, 2.9, and then 3.5 for, for them. And we, we don't want to do those, right? Uh, we want to do either in-person or we want to do an online sale uh, to be able to, to, to reduce those fees. Now, the lowest fee is going to be that, that, that ACH with, by a checking account through invoices. So um, earlier when I did invoice, um, Let's see, I'm still sharing my, I'm still sharing the screen. Okay, so if we went here and we did uh, pay with invoice, right, we could go in here and payment methods accepted. I could remove accepting credit cards altogether and only accept bank transfers. So um, that'll be that 1%. And, and again, they would then, my customers only have the option by invoice to pay with uh, by a bank transfer. And again, that would be that 1% uh, fee uh, on on my on my transactions there. So um, good good point. Again, so in person, online, manually entered. Again, we want to do the first two. We want to avoid manually entered transactions. Uh, if you know if if you if you can avoid it at all. Again, you can send a checkout link. You can send a QR code. You can send an invoice. I mean, it's so much easier to that you can go to have your website. Really, no reason to to do that. If someone comes up to you and is like, "Oh, I, yeah, I want to buy this," you know, I got my card number written down here, or I got it memorized, right? Like, you want to avoid th those types of situations. You know, if it's someone you know personally, friend, family, and, and you want to trust them to do that, great. But again, just know it's still a higher fee. So, uh, trying to save you as much money as you as we can here. So, you know, use the you know, the swipe, dip, or tap, or or do an online payment. Great questions. All right. I mentioned this one wasn't going to be a really long one. I want to just kind of go over the point of sale and how you can how you can do that. Again, this is a this this point of sale I have on my phone is a square point of sale. It's the free one that we've had since we started. It's free to download, free to start uh, taking payments. You can create an account for free. Um, and again, it's just that per transaction fee. Um, you know, any, anytime we do have some, uh, we have a square for restaurants point of sale, and we do have a square for retail point of sale. Um, and even square appointments uh, for those that are uh, doing appointment-based uh, businesses where you want folks to, to book time, like a barbershop, nail salon, um, consultant, you know, therapist, whatever you want to do. And then they just pay you in person um, you know, with, through the point of sale, um, but just a little more verticalized, something specific. But I mean, this point of sale is used by nearly 3 million businesses around the world. Um, very versatile for, for any business type. Those others are geared more towards those higher, those, those businesses that are doing much more need maybe more specific type um, details like table management or reservations or, or things like that for square for restaurants. Um, 
you know, once you get into that level, you can always up, upgrade to those. You can call us and, and get more info on that uh, at any time. I did want to share a site here, uh, www.sellercommunity.com. That's going to be our our main area for for frequently asked questions, guides. Uh, you can log in and get support. And there's also you know webinars there. Um, there's um, you know there's Q and A sessions there, fireside chats. That's also where. Um, you know, you can get in and ask questions. You can either specific groups in there based on locale and, and things like that. We have our super sellers that are in there. So you know, Square, we refer to our customers as sellers. You're, of course, all selling something. Um, we have super sellers, folks who have been vetted by Square, because of Square's products and services forever. They'll be in there answering questions for folks. Um, their business is just like you that have gone through a lot of what you've gone and, you know, have had the same questions or maybe run into some roadblocks and are there to, to help you with that. So I would definitely start there. If, if you need any support, um, you can, it's, it's a great, uh, great, great resource. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to throw those in the chat. Otherwise, you know, again, mentioned this would be a short and sweet one. Um, uh, other than that, um, that's it. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for presenting. We appreciate all the knowledge on Square. Um, and he is doing another uh, presentation, I believe, October 26th. And so um, if you want to continue this, uh, the three-part series, make sure you sign up for that. And it will be sent in today's follow-up email if you want to get registered. Um, and so once again, thank you, Martin. We really appreciate it. It, I, I definitely learned a lot and just, uh, you know, looking into Square for my personal business a little bit as well. So thank you. <laughs> cool. and, um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to email us and we'll get the questions over to Martin. Or um, I believe his email will be um, in the follow-up email as well. So um, if there's yep. no more questions, I hope you all have a happy one. Um, Happy Thursday now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and yeah, so the next session you. will be, I'll actually be going in and building a website with Square. So if you're interested in that, that's that's what it'll be. It'll be me building a website uh, with Square's free website builder. Oh, yes. So that will be a really, that will be a really good session. I actually have a few people that um, I'm going to go personally email now that they should hop on there. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be going through it. So, so folks can see what, what, what it looks like. Because I know it's, like we say, it's, I know I tell folks it's easy, it's simple, but it's a new software to use. So I get it. You know, it, it can can get scary. So that's why I like to just kind of go through it, and like that way you folks can see it. And it's like, oh, it's super easy. Like now I can do it. Yeah, no, definitely. We def we really do appreciate it. So, um, if that is all, I'll let us all um get get back to it. So, thank you once again. All right, have John, a good night. Good day.